Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. I'm very excited to be able to review this set. Uh, today is my 33rd birthday and my wife was able to get me the uh, Art Trooper Special Action Figure Set, the 501st. Um, I'm so freaking excited to have this pack. Um, I was super duper impressed with the uh, Art Trooper 5s. I did review him the other week, um, or last week I think it was. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to have uh, Echo and Jesse join the crew, uh, the second one, for obvious reasons. Um, he is my favourite clone. I'm really looking forward to opening this pack up and uh, taking a look at these fantastic action figures. Um, yeah, that the fives that I reviewed last week was just brilliant and um, yeah, really looking forward to having these other two join the crew. But uh, yeah, I, I love the artwork, even though it is uh, a bit hard to see, um, just because of the reflective nature of the uh, cardboard. Um, but I might even try and just drop an image here, take a photo and put an image in place of where I'm holding it right now. So <laughs> um, if I don't do that, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's open it up and take a look at some of these figures. Um, probably won't pay too much attention to fives because I have done done him before um, but yeah I'll certainly take a look at the other two so stay tuned all right so here are fives Jesse and Echo I'm really so thrilled to have these figures they're absolutely brilliant um, I do have this one twice and I did review like I said I did review him before so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to him um, mainly because these two are the new ones for me um, but yeah, just wanted to have set him up with the crew armed with the uh, rifle, just so you could see how they're all armed. As you'll notice, they all have, uh, currently they have different weapons, um, but they all come with the longer rifle. So each one comes with the same set. The slight, smaller blaster smaller blaster rifle and the two blaster pistols that I have Jesse holding one of them now uh, the rest of them are in the holsters um, so yeah just wanted to show them off um, but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll just move him back and we'll take a look at Echo first um, what I will do is I'll put him out of frame just so that the camera doesn't try and automatically uh, adjust So I just want to get a close-up look. What's the focus? I may have to bring it back a little bit. There we go. That is absolutely remarkable. That looks fantastic. Um, it's, yeah, it just looks really good. Let me show you a look around. Now for the most part, the figure is exactly, they're all exactly the same. Um, Echo here has the different pauldron where his ammo pouch is on his left as opposed to the right. Um, with his handprint there, that looks great. Um, yeah, like I said, all the same, just different markings throughout the figure. Oh, they just, yeah, they had individualized armor. Just different color schemes, all well, same you know, blue, greys, whites, black. But yeah, they each look absolutely fantastic. And I thought I might bring in um, fives. These two are a uh, iconic duo. So they both look great next to each other. Helmet does fit on nicely. Looks good too. The range finder does move. Articulation's great on these figures. Like I said, workable holster. There is a slot in the backpack there, so you can have this. The one the blaster is holding does have the little uh, pin on the side. You can peg that on there. display that as is 
Uh, one thing I did with my first version of uh, fives that I got is the pauldron. I actually glued onto the figure just because it is a little bit loose. It's not so bad with the helmet on, uh, but once you take the helmet off, there is a fair bit of movement there. You know, it's all one piece with the backpack. It just it wobbles around a little bit and looks a little bit off. So I glued that down, and it looks absolutely 100% fantastic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, being the Clone Wars fan that I am, I'm so thrilled to have some kick-ass art troopers of characters that um, we went on quite a ride with. So there's Echo. I'll move him out of the way and we'll bring in my favourite clone of all time for reasons that are obvious. Clone, clone trooper, art trooper Jesse this time. And uh, yeah, he looks fantastic. This head sculpt is amazing. That is just absolutely perfect. I really want this figure in a six inch scale as well. I think he'd be absolutely amazing. Just the, the bald head, the tattoo over the face looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, I was quite sad to see his demise, but he played the part. He was a loyal soldier to the end. Yes, he just looks fantastic. Let's look at the helmet. So again, got the Republic insignia on the top. There's a little bit of a misprint with the blue there. There's a little bit of blue that sort of seeped in. Hopefully that's something we'll just scratch off. Um, I will remove the rangefinder because Jesse doesn't actually have one present on his helmet. So it's a... I know why they've done it. It's just the sculpt and, uh, you know, they're just repainting the sculpt. But that's easy. It will pop off. As you can see, you could just sort of punch the hole... May just mean I just need to fill up a little hole afterwards, but that's not a problem. But yeah, seeing as he doesn't have a uh, range finder, I'm not going to leave it on there. But it looks pretty good. I just, I do love the heavy blue on his Arc Trooper helmet, whereas his regular Phase 2 was mostly white, still. Um, but yeah, I love the extra blues that's, that he's put on the helmet, or all the way around the back. I do wish they were uh, going to do a little bit more with that new Captain Rex that's coming out. Um, to give him this sort of quality would be fantastic. Hopefully uh, Hasbro listened to listened to the fans. Um, they have gone back and improved a Rex in the past due to fan demand. Um, hopefully they can do it again. So we'll see. Hopefully it's just not a repack of what they've given us already. But uh, so be it if it is. But yeah, I'd love to go, love them to go back and uh, finish off Rex, give him his dis definitive, realistic 3.75 inch version, and uh, finish the crew. 501st, all together, looking fantastic. Yeah, I'm just really, really thrilled with these figures. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be back with some more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.